The type of food that you eat for the morning, for breakfast, determines your energy, your performance, as well as your mood. So it's really important for us to nail down what we want to be eating almost every morning and not giving it too much of a thought. Because the fact of the matter is you can only make so many quality decisions before you run out of energy, run out of battery or run out of creativity. So decision making is pretty important and now in this video I want to talk about the breakfast that I eat almost every morning besides weekends where I go berserk. But it's essentially the most affordable and also maybe nutritious breakfast that you can have. Now talking about me, I usually try to eat more than I burn. The reason being is that I'm trying to build more muscle and gain more weight or size. So the challenge that I have is that I cannot just have a shot of coffee or espresso and a croissant and just go about my day. That's not going to work for me because if I skip breakfast, it's going to be pretty difficult for me to consume calories throughout the day. So after trial and error and years of experimenting with breakfast, I came up with the criteria, which is kind of important for me. So the number one criteria that is important for me is, is it edible? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about delicious. I'm not talking about tasty. I just want my breakfast to be edible. Does it have to taste amazing? No. But should it taste okay or good? Yes, that's the bare minimum that I want to have. A number two criteria is, is it affordable? You don't want to be wasting too much money on having sandwiches with salmon and fancy caviar. So this one's pretty affordable, I think. Number three, is it quick and easy? Again, in the morning, you don't have too much time. Maybe you have classes, maybe you have work, whatever it is. Now, number four is, is it high in calories and protein? Probably calories for me is the more important aspect here. I don't really care too much about protein because it's breakfast and I don't want to stuff my face with too much protein. So yeah, I think the breakfast that I'm going to show you in this video checks everything here and we can have a look at the breakfast itself. It's going to be rolled oats, simple oats, nothing fancy here. And I take it to the water and I wash it. Yes, I do wash my oats. Add some milk, usual milk, put it into the microwave for one and a half minutes and then just put some peanut butter. Now what peanut butter does is it just adds extra calories and adds some texture as well as just some oats with um, cookie oats, I think. And then just slice up banana um, because it adds some vitamins as well as calories and yeah as you can see it's pretty high calories it's 800 calories 22 protein i didn't think i would get that much protein from this breakfast because it's mostly carb focused around carbohydrates then you also have 32 fats i'm guessing that's because of peanut butter mostly and then 107 carbohydrates now if you're a skinny guy or a hard gainer who wants to gain weight i don't think this is a bad option for you to have as a breakfast yes it's not thousand calories or more but at the same time you don't want to be stuffing your face in the morning with a lot of food 8000 calories is pretty good you can have four meals a day and your breakfast is 800 calories i think that's a win now listen up if you're a skinny guy or a hard gainer who tries to bulk up and build muscle but doesn't succeed no matter what you can grab my free ebook which is gonna be in the first link in the description i'm gonna have my sample workout routine and also diet plan you can grab it for free and let me know what you think about this video in the comments i'll see you in the next one